Definition and Subtypes of Pediatric Delirium by Dr. Connie Traub. Delirium is uh, acute brain dysfunction. It's a behavioral syndrome that occurs as a result of an underlying serious illness or as a side effect of treatment for that illness. The hallmarks of delirium is that it needs to be acute and fluctuating and involve a disturbance in two things. One is awareness or attention, and the other is cognition. Importantly, delirium is almost always reversible. Just like when you are severely ill, it can affect your kidneys or your liver, so too when you're severely ill, it can affect your brain. So the behavioral syndrome that we note is what we call delirium. There are different subtypes of delirium. So there's the hyperactive subtype, which I think comes to mind most often when we think about delirium. That's the agitated, restless child who interferes with our ability to care for them. So those kids tend to get our attention. The much more common subtype of delirium is the hypoactive subtype. That involves the apathetic child with decreased responsiveness. Those kids very often don't rise to the level of our awareness without routine screening. If you think about it, the child who just lies there in her bed and allows us to do whatever interventions are necessary to care for her without protesting much, that child we like. We call her a, a good patient. We don't necessarily recognize how inappropriate her behavior is developmentally, and we don't necessarily recognize her as having hypoactive delirium unless we have a high index of suspicion. The mixed delirium subtype are the children who vacillate between the two subtypes over the course of the day. And the more pediatric delirium research we do, the more we're coming to recognize that the vast majority of delirium in children is hypoactive or mixed, and the hyperactive, dramatic, agitated subtype is really only the tip of the iceberg.